The Milwaukee Bucks are up three games to two in the NBA Finals, and it hasn't been just the big three of Giannis Antetokounmpo, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday. It's been Pat Connaughton, who's been a vital piece and a major contributor to their success in these 2021 Finals. Welcome back to another video on Mono Sports Talk. This is 3 Minutes with Mono, and in this video I'm telling you why Pat Connaughton has been such a huge difference for the Milwaukee Bucks in these finals and a big reason why they were up 3 games to 2 in this series. I mean, if you guys have been watching the NBA Finals, you know who the main stars are for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis has been incredible, the MVP so far, with back-to-back 40-point games and averaging 32 points per game in the finals. Chris Middleton has stepped up big time at 40 in Game 4, 30, 29 in Game 5. And then Drew Holiday is back again with a complete performance, 27 points, 13 assists in Game 5. But Pat Connaughton has to be given some credit here. He needs to have more respect and needs to be talked about more why the Milwaukee Bucks are one game away from the championship. He signed a three-year deal in the offseason, and he has been so consistent. He has really showed up, made clutch baskets, and has huge impact in the game. He has been the primary sixth man off the bench for the Bucks. Six foot five shooting guard from Notre Dame, the 2015 second round pick, has been incredible in this finals of putting up some of his best performances, honestly, of his career. And he has been so great shooting wise from downtown, never dipped below 40% from three. In the finals, in game four, he scored 11 points, nine rebounds, one assist, and shot 43% from three and 44% from the field in 32 minutes. And he allowed that fourth quarter comeback to start in game four. If you remember, the Bucks were down big in that fourth quarter. They came back, and it was a spark from Pat Connaughton's great catch and shoot ability. They ended up winning at 109 103. And then game five was one of his best performances with 14.6 rebounds in 33 minutes. He shot 67% from three, four out of six from three, and 67% from the field. And he kept the Bucks in it during that first and second quarter. Remember, they were down by 16 points early in that first quarter. And he had a plus minus of 10 in that game five, and the Bucks eventually won. Remember, 123 119 in game five. He had made such a huge difference. He kept them in it with those threes hanging around, and then here the Bucks come just like that. His shooting has been so vital. It can extend leads like in game three and provide sparks for a comeback like in game four and game five, which are the biggest games of this series. Without him, I'm not sure if these comebacks would have been complete. That's how important he is. Plus, he was the only bright spot. In games 1 and 2, where he scored 14 points in game 2, 8 in game 1, 4 out of 9 from 3, and 44% um, in game 2, 2 out of 4 from 3 in game 1. So he's been super consistent throughout the 5 games. He's also been very um, efficient on the other end, solid defense on the guards, as well as getting some big rebounds, playing with intensity, 12 total rebounds in the 2 home games of the Bucks, 21 total. If he can contribute in game 6, the Bucks can do it in 6, and they will win their second championship after 50 years. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go down, hit the like, subscribe, comment in the comment section, and I hope to see you in the next video.